Hey, what's up you guys? Sentai2020 here with another review. Today I'll be checking out the Super Legends Extreme Power Rangers RPM Red Ranger. Now, I don't understand why RPM Red Ranger is a Super Legend since he's the more recent Power Ranger series that's airing right now. But I guess uh, Bandai America is testing some ground with the Extreme figures. Um, also, uh, this figure is a little bit much bigger than your standardized Power Ranger figure. <clears throat> Excuse me. For one thing, um, uh, the quality is much better. As you can see, the weapons are not the all silverish. I'll show you the power gun or the matangan as in the Japanese version. Um, also, it's a little bit pricier. This will fetch you around uh, $17 each. But like I said, the quality makes up for it. They haven't left any detail out, out as you can see. If you look at the helmet, you almost notice that you can probably put a light bulb in and put the... Uh, you can put a light bulb in there and you can actually think that's going to, you know, flash some lights at you. But no, actually the, the, the lights on the helmet are not the light bulbs they are actually carved into it which is pretty cool there um, and uh, also it's the first the super legend that it's not all bulky you know it's not all steroid injected like the forever red power ranger figures that we we saw uh, a couple of years ago so um, I really hope that in the 20th anniversary of the series I hope they use this body mold for all of the for all of the uh, Red Ranger figures in the near future. I really hope so because I kind of like this one. I didn't really like the uh, the, the uh, muscled uh, Power and Red Ranger figures. So hopefully by by then they'll re revamp the Forever Red toy line and and use the this body mold for all the Red Ranger figures. Not only that, but they could have used the the Super X, the Super Legend Extreme to release all of the RPM Red Rangers. I mean, it would have been a lot better if they would release RPM uh, Blue and Yellow as well as the two new Rangers, which I hope they do, maybe. I'm not really sure. Uh, Gold and Silver. I mean, it would have been a lot a lot better. But, as I said, uh, Bandai America is testing some ground with these figures, so I guess uh, they're not going to take any chances. Um, also, there's the Super Legends Extreme Wolf Ranger, as well as I've reviewed uh, this uh, other Super Legends Extreme uh, Green Ranger as well. So, <clears throat> this is a must. Uh, if you're a fan of the new series, which I am, I kind of like the way that Power Rangers is going. Uh, it's much darker. Well, let's not make it too dark because kids won't watch it. Um, but like I said, the series is is a little bit better than the previous uh, three seasons so uh, hopefully this will be good news for Power Rangers and I hope it doesn't end next year so uh, yeah I mean go ahead buy it um, maybe there's still a few left in Toys R Us but you can go check on eBay if you want to so yeah um, that's about it uh, pretty much you guys uh, thanks for thanks for watching I hope you guys subscribe um, Please, uh, please comment. I only see you guys uh, post uh, maybe three or four comments, but please, I make it ten at least. Um, also, subscribe as well. And uh, also, I apologize for the lack of quality in my first two videos. I was uh, testing a few uh, video programs that I've installed on my computer, so hopefully, this one is will be a, a good, nice quality that you can, that you guys could see the videos in much much better. So. All right, uh, that's about it. Uh, join me next time where I'll review the Kamen Rider Den O belt as well with the Climax phone. So this is Sentai 2020 and I'm out.